Let's look at the following example. So we're told that a rectangular page is to contain 24 square inches of print. The margins of the top and bottom of the page are to be one and a half inches and the margins on the left and right are to be one inch. What should the dimensions of the page be so that the least amount of paper is used. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a picture, kind of see what this page looks like. So here I've got a rectangular page. And I know they told me that, so I have some print here. I have print, and then I have a margin on the top and the bottom. They tell me the top and bottom margins are one and a half inches. So the length here is one and a half, and the length here is one and a half. And then what's left here is the print area. So I'm gonna call this length X here. Now, my margins on the left and right are one inches. So here on the left, it's one. On the right, it's one. And then what's left is the print area. I'll call this length here Y. So what are we trying to do here? We're trying to minimize the total uh, amount of paper. So we're trying to minimize uh, area here, the overall area. So we're gonna use A for the area to be minimized. So this is a rectangle. One side length is x plus one and a half and one and a half, so x plus three. Y plus two is the other side length, so I'm trying to minimize the, the least amount of paper, so I wanna minimize this area. So this is what I'm trying to minimize. And now we have our constraint. So what is our constraint here? If you go back, I'm told that I need 24 square inches of print. So that's the area of just the print. And just the printed part would be x times y. So x times y needs to be 24. So I'm gonna take my constraint equation and I'm gonna solve for y. You could solve for x if you want to, and then take this and plug it in to the area formula we're trying to minimize here. So a will be x plus three times 24 over x plus two and now we're gonna foil this out. 
to get 24 plus 2x plus 72 over x plus 6. And if we combine the like terms here, you're going to get a equals 30 plus 2x plus 72 over x. And remember here, x represents a distance, so we know that x must be positive. So here, our domain would be from 0 to infinity. So now let's find our critical numbers. Take the derivative of a. With respect to x, you'll get 2 minus 72 over x squared. And you're going to set this equal to 0 and solve. So you'll get 2 equals 72 over x squared. This gives us 2x squared equals 72, x squared is 36, x equals plus or minus 6, but remember x must be positive, so we toss out the negative answer. And let's make sure that this actually maximizes our, or sorry, minimizes our area. So here's 0. Take a test point over here and a test point over here. Plug them into your derivative. If I plug in 1, my derivative would be negative. If I plug in 7, my derivative would be positive. So my function was decreasing and then increasing. That means this is a relative minimum here. So this does give me my minimum. Now I was asked for the dimensions of the page. The first thing we're going to do is go back and solve for y. y was 24 over x. So if x is 6, y would be 4. Now these don't correspond to the dimensions of my page. Remember x and y, if we look back at our picture, just correspond to our print area. If I want the overall dimensions of the page, I've got to add 3 to x and 2 to y. So if I add 3 to x, I'll get 9. And 2 to y, you'll get 6. So the dimensions of the page, the page should be 9 inches by 6 inches. In order to minimize the area of the total page.